How does a manager, leader, or executive become relatable to those who report to him? I want to tell you a story about a guy who uh, has one of the largest and most successful real estate companies in Washington, D.C. And he's getting ready to lose his most trusted uh, female advisor. She's the one who has been with him for about 20 years. And she's very frustrated with him. And she wants to have a conversation, basically. He knows it's an exit interview. And he's afraid to have the conversation because he knows she's going to tell him how mad she is at him and why he's at fault for leaving because he had said no or was afraid to say no to her on a project that she had been working on for many, many, many months. He knew he was going to say no, so he was avoiding her. So he calls me up and he says, uh, hey, I need your advice. What am I gonna do because I cannot give in to her and spend this much money, and if I don't, I know she's leaving anyway, so what do I do here? I said, well, what I would do is I would bring in another trusted person that she trusts, just so that there's gonna be three of you in the room, and uh, that's gonna keep everyone safe. I said, I'm telling you, see her, hear the facts about what she's done, understand how much emotion she's put into it, and then let her know you care and you appreciate all that she's done. And you'll be surprised what goes from there. So what happens is he calls me back, he says, Chris, you are not gonna believe what happened. I said, well, well tell me, what happened? He said, when she left, she was in tears. And so I looked to the other secretary who I hire to handle emotional women, and she says, oh my goodness, what has happened to you? And he says, what do you mean, was that not good? Oh, she's be the most loyal employee you ever had. She's not going anywhere, ever. There is no employee, employers who know how to do that. What has happened to you? This is gonna change our whole uh, uh, company if you can do this. He says, really, was it that important? He said, you don't understand. There's not a person in the world who doesn't need what you do. If you can do this for all of us, we're not leaving. She's not going anywhere. She told you, it's not whether you say yes or no, it's whether or not you communicate with me. Because the lies that have been coming because of your silence have been killing me. And because you had the conversation with her, you don't have to worry about saying yes. He said, well, now I want to say yes. <laughs> so that's the power of being relatable in the workplace.